Okay, so hi guys, good morning uh, from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm Yanda from Kompas TV Indonesia. Wow, the whole member is here. How are you guys doing? Busy day, I guess. A lot of interviews, yeah? <laughs> yeah! So, uh, let's talk about your new song, uh, Just Friends. Uh, I mean, I've watched the music uh, video. I mean, uh, five days uh, before this, uh, it went out to YouTube also, so I watched it. And I could really feel, you know, the, the summer feeling, the joy feeling. But from your perspective, how, how you guys describe, you know, this song? Uh, what is it all about? Uh, man, uh, I think you nailed it. It's that summer happy feeling. Uh, we definitely had so much fun making this song. It was sort of a party environment. Um, we just had a bunch of friends over and we were actually in Miami, Florida. Um, <laughs> And yeah, we just we just had a great time, and the song came from that. And I feel like you can feel the happy party energy from it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's it's just about taking that leap of faith, and you know, hoping that your your friend also feels the same way that you should be more than friends. Yeah, you know, it's well, it's very interesting. Yeah, looking at the the music the music videos as well. I mean, for you guys, what is the most interesting part when uh, making this? Uh, song, this particular song, Just Friends, is it, uh, you know, when, you know, brewing the lyrics or the music videos itself, or maybe there are messages behind the song? What would you guys say? Uh, I think the video, first of all, was super fun to make because I think for us two videos are, are fun to make because you can kind of bring a song to life in a different way. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this song itself is just super fun, super happy, and um, sessions like that are always super fun because you, you leave having had a great time and you leave with a great song. Um, it's the best. There's really nothing better than that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, well, so uh, how do you guys hope in the future? Because, you know, since the pandemic and stuff, uh, how do you guys hope the limelight also uh, feel for the song of, the, of Just Friends itself? Because it, 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 it brings, you know, happy, happy feelings, right? Yeah, well, I, I sure hope they like it, <laughs> you know. And, <laughs> you know, I hope that this song comes on when they're trying to have fun. And, you know, that's what it was made in, and that's what it was kind of made for. So roll down the windows of your car and blast it at top. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So I will, I will read some of a, um, yay. <laughs> yay. Yeah. The happy feelings, go. Let's go! Uh, it's been a while since we're not like uh, having a you know very good time in these past two years, right? So it it will be a very good uh, song to sing uh, in, in the car and, and in in summer. So I will read uh, some of your uh, you know um, personal records since uh, 2016. You guys already collected three billion global streams. Wow, more than 930 million YouTube views and more than 7 million followers on Instagram and numbers of achievement also. So the question is, what is next? What's the plan? Um, uh, you um, know, world tour maybe, collaborating with another musicians maybe, stopping by Asian, any chance of stopping by Asian? Oh, uh, okay. Indonesia maybe? <laughs> There's so much planned. The next step for us is definitely getting back on the road. Um, yeah. It's like all we're thinking about is just getting on tour and performing for fans and Getting to just see people like you in person again will be so good, and like, it just just everything will feel back to normal. And uh, yeah, we're we're really excited to get back out on the road Absolutely. for sure. And music wise, we got so much of that coming too. Yeah, uh, we have just I feel I feel like we really found our sound, and um, we're super excited. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys have your own uh, international fan base. Uh, they call Limelight, right? So. Uh, could you tell us a little bit of Limelight, uh, how they meant to you, and is there any way the Limelight, you know, international fan base of uh, Why Don't We um, influence your music? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's it's always awesome seeing our, when our fan base likes the music that we put out. Obviously, that's what we do it for. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, they, they definitely always have influence on us. And if they like a certain sound, it's like, oh, maybe more music like that yeah you know? I, mean, it, I mean yeah that's true yeah. There's, so yeah. you know at the end of the day we all kind of like the same music but it's like i'm sure you like pop music but rock and pop punk music is cool too yeah. right now and we love hip-hop and 
So we can kind of go all those different directions. At the end of the day, our fans do help us figure out what they like the most helps us figure out what we like, you know? Exactly. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's, it's a good uh, information then. So in Indonesia here, well, 2019, you are you went here to Indonesia, you know, to to uh, to do the live concert, and uh, you know, many Indonesian limelight, Indonesian dying to, you know, to have that kind of opportunities uh, again in the future. And we actually asked uh, several of them if they have a message or questions for you, and we have uh, picked five of them, and I will read it, and then you'll answer it. The first oh. one from Okta Santi. Uh, well, we'll uh, we are asking them via Instagram. So, what's the inspiration for your new single, Just Friends? Is it from your personal experience? Um. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I've been friend zone, man. It sucks. Friends but you know what? Zone Eventually, I won it over. Eventually, we we <laughs> uh, we, we had a great connection. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, I will ask the second question. Just Friends is a great song to be sung live in concert. Well, uh, I have asked you guys also, will you guys come to Indonesia soon and have, and have a concert here? Maybe you can spill the tea a little bit. It's definitely in the plans. Uh, we, we miss it so much. You guys are amazing too. We we'll see you guys everywhere. Yeah, yes. Indonesia always goes so yeah, hard. Yeah, you guys go so hard for it's, us. Especially uh, yeah. like specifically oh, yeah. like we we had such a good time there last time and we always see people saying come to jakarta so you know we, we really some, wanted, of, some we of my favorite there. shows like we're definitely there too i'm mean, so loud i remember <laughs> yeah so, so we well uh one of your biggest fan base i think in indonesia yeah? exactly exactly it is yeah so okay. we're, we're... so since you've been to indonesia before is there anything you you well what is your, you know, the most um, memorable um, uh, memory from Indonesia? Please let us know. From each and the air airport yeah. was insane. the airport was yeah. nuts. There, there are so many fans, and fans mm -hmm. are different. And they are, they're amazing. They're crazy, but they're amazing. It was like the warmest welcome to go to some place you've never been in your whole life and have so many people waiting to welcome you. Like yeah, it, it was thousands. Cool. Just, I've never seen <laughs> like it. Such a good feeling. The airport security was like, <coughs> what are we doing? Oh, no, dude, the second we stepped out of the plane, <laughs> there were security guards like, all right. They're like, crazy. you guys are the ones. I remember, <laughs> I remember actually they yeah. From the plane, yeah, we were yeah. getting off, like, <laughs> across the airport. It's crazy. I loved it. And they always it's give crazy. us this crazy environment like, in Indonesia. Yeah? Wow. Wow. So, uh, okay, the next one from Devita Sari. Can you guys describe or tell us about the next project or album? Uh, like, is there any different from a uh, previous album? And what vibe did you guys will present or present for this new project or album? I guess this one is for uh, the next one, yeah, after Just Friends, I think. Yeah, um, we've been teasing a song on TikTok a bit. So if you want to go to our yeah. TikTok, you can check. Um, and yeah basically right now we're just we just have a ton of music because what quarantine did is really got us comfortable with just like sitting down and and figuring out what kind of music we want to make and mm -hmm. what feels really so we have a list of songs that that feel really awesome and uh we plan on releasing them so yeah that's a lot of good music coming yeah. and everything else you're trying to get into our classified file yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yay, oh, very exciting. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Guys, uh, last but not least is from May 1301. Well, so do you have something to say for Limelight Indonesia? Uh, yeah, we love you guys so much. Yes. Thank, thank you so much for all the support. You guys probably go one of the hardest in the entire world, like Absolutely. in terms of places. Woo. So we can't, we can't wait to come back and give you all hugs. Yeah, Let's give them a, a very big clap, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. So that's all, uh, guys. Y'all, thank you very much, you know, for spending time with us, Compass TV uh, Indonesia. I hope you have a great day, great future ahead for the career, for the live tour. And we can uh, wait to, you know, see you guys here in Indonesia. Goodbye. Ciao. Amazing. Thank you so much, man. Thank you.